With coronavirus cases still on the rise in the region, Governor Henry McMaster decided to close down all non-essential businesses. Well, this executive order excludes one type of business, and that's golf courses. And here at Cherokee Valley, they say they're doing everything they can to make sure their golfers remain safe. Fitness centers, spectator sports, and events that require people to share equipment. Those are some of the types of businesses that are expected to close until further notice following the executive order. But Cherokee Valley Golf Course will remain open and they have plans to keep their golfers safe. Matthew Jennings, director of operations and owner, says he put his staff safety first, then came up with a plan for the visitors. So they can come out, we do let them know over the phone what the restrictions that we have for them. And then when they're out playing, we do let them know that they need to be eight feet away from each other at all times. From lots of social distancing, hand sanitizer and a pool noodle in every hole to the many disinfected single occupant golf carts. They say this hasn't been easy, but it all must be done. It took a while for us to figure out exactly how we can accommodate guests and members without running out of golf carts. We look at actually um, offsetting our tee time. So uh, we block out tee times every other so we can keep distances away from each tee time. And according to the executive order, sports that do not involve interaction with another person in close proximity like golf can remain open for now. And we feel it's a privilege, uh, not a right to be open, but uh, we do feel it's essential. Uh, it gives people a great opportunity to enjoy this game in a safe environment. Uh, we're blessed to be in a game where, you know, we're going to be six feet apart. And they tell me that they plan to stay open for as long as possible and as long as it's safe for their golfers. Reporting at Cherokee Valley Golf Course, Kristen Cheatham, 7 News.